In this video, we'll be creating a crawler to scrape for financial data on a market watch. Particularly, we're going to be scraping the dividend yield of each stock and exporting it to Google Sheets. We're going to be using Simple Scraper for this project. You can install Simple Scraper at simplescraper.io. You'll need to be using Google Chrome in order to install it. You can use Simple Scraper's free plan for this project. However, if you want to export to Google Sheets, as I will be doing, you will need to upgrade. And you can sign up for Google Sheets at google.co.uk or .com, but it's .co.uk as I'm in the UK, then forward slash sheets forward slash about. Google Sheets is free, so you need not worry about pricing. As mentioned, for this project, we're going to be crawling for financial data on MarketWatch, specifically the dividend yield of each stock of interest. For each stock that we want financial data on, we're going to be scraping the name and the yield. The idea behind doing this would be for you as an investor to gain insights as to what stocks offer you the best dividend. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. And just from a legal standpoint, I've linked an article there which highlights the legalities of web scraping. Before we create our crawler, I want to scrape the name and yield of one stock on MarketWatch ensuring it returns the correct data. To begin, go to marketwatch.com. Once you're there, you'll want to search for AAPL. That's Apple's stock symbol. As mentioned, we're going to be scraping the name and the yield. With the simple scraper extension open, it will allow us to select the first data point we want to scrape by clicking the plus sign. First, we want to scrape the name only. That which is highlighted in green is what will get scraped. We can name this data point name and click the tick to set this data point for when we run the scraper soon. Second, we want to scrape the yield. Again, we need to click the plus sign. Then we select the yield only. We can see it is highlighted in green what will get scraped. We can name this data point yield and click the tick to set this data point for when we run the scraper in just a moment. To run the scraper, click View Results. Once the scraper has run, Simple Scraper will work its magic and return the data points we selected name and yield. Now we're going to take this a step further, turning this web scraper into a web crawler to get the name and yield on a far wider range of stocks without us having to do more manual scraping. Before we configure our crawler, we must save the settings for this scraper, otherwise referred to as recipes in Simple Scraper. To save your recipe, click Save Recipe on the left hand side. Once clicked, you'll be prompted to complete this page. Let's do it. Recipe name, let's write Yield Crawler. URL we can leave that as it is. You'll see why soon. Selected properties, name and yield. These are the data points that we selected when we created the scraper and want to obtain. Page navigation, again, we can leave that as it is. We can now click create recipe. Once you've saved your recipe, it should appear under My Recipes 
on the left hand side. Click onto that recipe you just created. Once you're there, click Integrate. Here is where we can activate our Google Sheet. What this means is that once we run our crawler, it will export the results into a Google Sheet for us. From there, we can do a whole host of things. To activate the Google Sheet export, click the toggle button to make it active. Then, for a save method, I want to replace previous results. This means that every time our crawler runs, it will replace the data that is already within the sheet rather than add to it. Now, of course, we haven't run our crawler yet, so there will be no data in this Google Sheet. So let's move on to running our crawler. When we went through the initial scraper setup, we scraped the name and yield of one stock on MarketWatch, ensuring it returned the correct data. The stock that we scraped was Apple. So now that we've defined the data points of name and yield for one stock on MarketWatch, we can go to Crawl and command our crawler in Simple Scraper to get the same data for other stocks. Let's say one of the stocks we want our crawler to get the name and yield of is Apple. We'll do other stocks in just a moment. We'd go to MarketWatch, search for Apple. Once we've found it, click on it, then copy the URL for that stock, head back to Simple Scraper, and paste that URL into Crawl URLs. We'd repeat that process for each stock we want data on. Hence, we'd get the name and yield for that stock when the crawler is run. Let's do that for other stocks now. Let's go back to MarketWatch, and this time, let's search for Microsoft. Once we've found it, click on the stock listing, and then copy the URL for that stock, and head back to Simple Scraper and paste it into crawl URLs on a separate line. Again, let's go back to MarketWatch, and this time let's search for IBM. And once we've found the IBM stock listing, let's click on it, copy the URL, head back to Simple Scraper, and paste it in on a separate line in the crawl URLs. And once more, let's go back to MarketWatch, and this time let's search for Intel. And once we've found that stock listing, let's click on it, let's get the URL exactly as it is and copy it, then head back to Simple Scraper and paste it into crawl URLs on a separate line once again. So you get the gist of it now. So now that we have four URLs that we want our crawler to scrape when we run it, and it'll scrape the name and yield for each of those stocks. To run this crawler, click Run Recipe. Simple Scraper will then crawl those URLs and return the data that we want to obtain, our data points being name and yield. The crawler takes varying amounts of time to run depending on how many URLs you want it to crawl. The more, the longer it takes. If we go back to the results page, we can see that the crawler has been through the URLs and returned the data points that we requested. It also attaches other information which we can delete when we export the data. But it has crawled what we wanted it to in order to gain insights. From here, the data will automatically get exported into our sheet. We can view the data in our Google Sheet if we go back to Integrate and click Open Google Sheet. Here, you can delete unnecessary columns, sort the sheet to see the most lucrative dividend yields and more. 
You could use this in combination with other no-code tools such as Parabola 2. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest no-code projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.